Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. So today I'm going to be teaching you on how you can add this visit goal board into your game. This system will allow you to set goals for how many visits you want your game to achieve and it will also show to your community how far you are to achieving that goal. So before I teach you on how to make this system, we're just going to hop into studio where I'll give you a quick testing. Alright, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. Let's walk up to this board and you can see here we have our current goal is 13 visits and we currently have four visits and you can see in the center 31% of goals have been completed. Great, so now we're going to head over to Roblox Studio where I'll teach you on how to make this system. Alright, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. We're going to start off by clicking on the brand new base plate feature. Keep in mind, all scripts and models found in the video today can be either downloaded or copied in the description down below. So here you are, we can see we're inside of our studio. Let's open up our explorer and properties. You can see I don't like them being here, so I'm just going to put them on my screen where I want them. Right here, and then I'm going to put my properties there. And there we go. Now for this tutorial in specific, I made this model which you can download in the description down below. It's called a visits goal board. I'm going to download it right now and then I'm going to paste it inside of my workspace. Now that I've done that, I also want to make a brand new folder. So we're going to start off by organizing our workspace. So to do this, we're going to create a brand new folder. We're going to click the plus button, click folder, and then we're going to call this folder visits goal. And then in here, we're going to put inside our board. Now you can see, you can fully customize this board to your liking. It's simply just a part with a surface GUI inside and all of these GUI elements. Now next of all, we're going to head over to our server script service where we're going to create a brand new folder. And then we're going to call this folder visits goal. And then next of all, we're going to add a script and we're going to call this script visits goal board now this system is super simple it only requires this one script and we can start off by typing in all of our variables so we're going to first of all get our http service this will allow us to communicate with our web server so we're going to say local http service equal game get service http service now after we've done that, we want to get the visits board and we also want to get the board mini frame and if you look inside Surface GUI, we can see there's a mini frame inside of it which leads to a ton of text labels. So we're going to say local visits board equals game.workspace, so now we're inside of the workspace directory, dot visit goals, dot visits goals board and then wait for child visits goal GUI. Great, so now that we've done that, we're going to say local board mini frame equal visits board dot main dot mini frame. So now we're inside of this little mini frame and now we're going to drop a few lines and now we need to set our visits goal. So I'm going to say local visits goal equals 10 and now this means our goal of the game is to get 10 visits next we're going to define the place id luckily inside of roblox studio we can get the place id by simply saying game dot place id so we can say local place id equals and then we're going to say game dot place id so make sure you make it all capitals and next of all we're going to define our current visits remember we will not have to set this manually we're just going to set it to zero but our script will edit that variable for us so we're going to say local current visits equal if i can spell that right visits equal or zero now we're going to create a function that can get the current amount of visits so to do this we're going to create our function called current visits and we're going to say local function current visits 
And then after that, we're going to say local request equals. And then here, we're going to use our HTTP service, HTTP service, get a sync. And now we're going to get a specific web server I set up for you guys. So make sure you type in this link carefully. So make a string and put inside HTTPS colon slash slash cookie dash tech dash blocks dash api dot com slash game slash visits slash question mark game underscore id equals now that we've done that we're going to leave the string we're going to press spacebar we're going to double tap our dot so dot dot and then we're going to say place id so now we're sending a get request to our web server. Now we need to get what our web server says back to us. So to do this, we can say local response equals HTTP service JSON decode. So now we're decoding the JSON of the request we defined above. Now we're going to get the current visits and set that to our response. So we're going to say current visits. Make sure that you're doing the variable just because our function is the same name as our variable to make sure we don't get them mixed up in front of the function we're going to say and after the function we're going to say get current visits and then we're going to say current visits equal response all right so now that we've got that down we want to calculate the percentage of what the goal we have completed so that might not make much sense but you'll understand what i mean as you remember, inside of our workspace, we have 10% of the goal completed. Now, of course, we want to work out how much of the goal is completed. So to use this, we're going to be doing a bit of maths. So we're going to say local function calculate percentage. And then we're going to drop a line and then we need to work out the percentage. So we can say local percentage equals math dot floor. And then in here, we're going to put current visits and then we're going to put slash standing for divide visits goal. So we're dividing current visits by visits goal. And then we're going to use the asterisk symbol, which is the little star symbol. You can reach it by pressing shift A. And this stands for times. So we're going to put in 100. So now what we're doing is we're doing current visits divided by visits goal times by 100. And now math.floor will basically round everything and we want to make sure that we round upwards so we're going to say plus 0.5. Now finally we're going to return back the percentage by saying return percentage. Great, so now that we've done that we're going to drop a few lines and now we're going to make a function that updates the board. So to do this we're going to say local function board update, brand new function, and then we're going to get the current visits. Now we're going to wait three, so we can wait for that HTTP request to go through. And now we're going to say board mini frame dot current goal dot text equals. Then we're going to make a string and we're going to say current goal and then colon and then make sure you leave a space. And then we're going to concatenate it by saying dot dot visit goal. Now we're going to drop another line and we're going to say board mini frame dot current visits dot text equals and then current visits and then after that we're going to make sure we leave a space and then we're going to say dot dot and then space and then current visits right now that we've got that done we're going to put down our percentage which we can do by saying board mini frame dot percentage dot text so another text label we're editing and we're going to say equals and then here we're going to put calculate percentage then we're going to concatenate that with dot dot and then we're going to make a string with string make sure you don't leave a space this time and then we're going to put percentage symbol space off goal completed okay now that we've done that we need to make sure everything works so the first course of action is when the game first loads up we want the script to work so we're going to say board update and then Every two minutes or so, we want this board to update. So we'll do while wait 120, do, and then we're going to say board update. All right now, we can't use this system just yet. 
What we need to do is we need to publish it to Roblox. So we're going to do Alt P or you can do File, Publish to Roblox. And I'm not going to use Team Create since I don't want to enable Team Create. So I'm not going to click on this. And then I'm going to call this Visits Goal Board Completed Tutorial. And now we're going to create that. Then finally, we're going to click on Home, then on Game Settings, and then a really important step here, we click on Security, and we allow HTTP Request. This will make sure that we'll allow the game server to issue requests to remote servers. Great, so now I'm going to head into Roblox where I'll give you guys a quick test. Okay, so here we are inside of the Roblox player. Here I am joined by my friend Oro. There he is, walking around doing his own thing. And you can see our board has worked. You can see our current goal is 10, like we set it to, and our current visit says 4. Me and Oro kept on joining, just to rack that up a bit. And it's completely normal if your board shows 4 visits or 0 visits at the beginning. This is as the Roblox website sometimes takes a while to update, but if it shows 0, just wait a few minutes, and if it still doesn't update, go to forms.thecookie.dev where myself or another scripter will help you. And that's all for me. Thank you for tuning in, and bye-bye.